Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at the Playwright CLI to um, generate some browser automation code for us. And what will we learn today? We will generate some code via the Playwright CLI, we'll create a simple npm package, and then we'll execute the browser automation code that's been generated. Let's begin. Uh, in order to do this, we will need to have Node.js installed as well as npm. And if you don't have that installed, then by all means uh, follow the blog article that's linked in the description below and it will explain um, and have all the various links so you can follow along with this video. So we'll need to uh, open up a new terminal and we'll need to run this command npx playwright cli code gen and then the name of a website. I'm going to use Wikipedia for this this example, and all of the commands that you need to run will be linked in the blog post in the description below. So if I run that, it will go and fetch all of the um, required packages to um, generate the code. So as you can see, we've got a new browser window opened and we've had some boilerplate code generated. If I look over um, onto the browser and if I hover over something you can see that it highlights the element and it also gives you the CSS selector as a tooltip. For this example I'm going to search for the word automation and I'm going to click on the search button. And as you can see, if we go back to the terminal, it's added the click, it's added the fill, and then the click again, just to show you that it's generating it automatically. And if we return to the browser, um, what I'm going to do next is click on the random article link. And obviously that will take us to a random, art random article. And that's the code generated. So what we need to do is return to the terminal and press the control C on our keyboard. This will then generate the complete code needed to automate that particular flow. So what we want to do now is we want to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Playwright CLI Demo. That's created a new folder so if we change into that folder and I'm going to open this up with Visual Studio Code. And just to uh, stay along the lines of the blog post, if we return to our terminal and we create a new npm package, so we do npm init dash dash yes. I won't explain what this does. If, um, if, you don't, if you're not too sure, then uh, go ahead and look it up. I'm assuming you already know a fair amount of code. And then this will create a package.json file. You can ignore this for now, and if we come back to our terminal and do npm i dash d play right, that will install all of the required dependencies for running Playwright. And you can see that that has added a package lock file and a node modules folder. We can also um, ignore this again. So what we want to do as well is create a, um, a new file called demo. So we do touch demo.js and that will create a new file. So what we want to do in here is go back to our terminal and we want to copy and paste the code that was generated in our earlier step. and paste that in here. And that's pretty much it. So we are essentially nearly done. So what we can do now, returning to our terminal, if I clear it to make it more obvious, if I type in node demo JS, this will actually run our exact flow again. And you can see it's super quick, I'll run it again.
you can't see that it's clicking on the random link but um, it's just because it's too quick and that's it you've now created um, a simple flow to automate the browser and go ahead and obviously edit this or um, edit some of this code see what you can achieve um, just to give you a few links um, I'll post these in the description box below um, but there's a blog article to go to go with this which explains step by step um, what we just covered and there's also a link to the github repository which contains the code needed and a step by step guide on how to get that set up and running I hope you enjoyed the video today and please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching